Digital A11Y Insights, your accessibility partner. Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about non-text content. Definition, all non-text content that is presented to the user has a text alternative that serves the equivalent purpose except for purely decorative images that are used only for visual formatting, a test or exercise that would be invalid if presented in text, a non-text content primarily intended to create a specific sensory experience, time-based media, capture which is used to confirm that content is being accessed by a person rather than a computer, or if a non-text content is a control or accepts user input. Some of the requirements of a non-text content are images like logos and icons that communicate information should have short text alternatives that serve the same purpose as the image. Complex images like infographics, charts and diagrams should have longer text descriptions within the same page. When the purpose of the image is to convey a functionality like a magnifying glass icon, the text alternative should describe the action that will be performed. When the image conveys information like an image that is a part of a news article, the text alternative should convey the same information as the image. Each should have a unique alternative to distinguish them from each other and one should avoid redundant phrasing. Images that are purely decorative, meaning that they do not convey any information, should be explicitly silenced in code so that they are not read out by screen readers. So let's understand why is it important to have a non-text content. It's because this ensures that information conveyed by non-text content is available to people who cannot see it, like screen reader users. Screen readers can only identify non-text content such as images with all text attributes. Some of the benefited disability types are people who are visually challenged, people who are deaf and blind, and cognitive challenged users. Now let's discuss some common mistakes that are when the text description doesn't communicate the same information as the image. When the image has a text description that is an exact duplication of content elsewhere on the page. When the image doesn't have a text description at all. When the image contains capture and doesn't have the alternative text such as capture. Use of CSS background image for images. An example for an alternate text on web is hiding a decorative image view from screen readers. Now let's summarize everything. One should provide an alternative text description for images and make sure that the description conveys the same message of functionality. All non-text content like images, charts, icons and infographics must have an appropriate text equivalent. This is the end of the video. Thank you for joining. If you like the video, do like and subscribe.